Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome to this week's episode of Tuesday Preppers. Um, normally there is an accompanying stream on Twitch that goes along with Tuesday Preppers. Tonight is a bit of an exception. I had a lot going on and I really didn't get a chance to stream, but I did want to talk a little bit about the news um, and uh, do our usual thing that we usually do here um, for Tuesday Preppers. Um, so here we are. Um, we're going to talk about the news that came out this morning. Um, and we uh, have Final Fantasy VIII content part two coming out later this week. Uh, really excited because the first event on the list is a fate written before time. Um, and that's this one here. It's a World of Visions event. Uh, we have not had a World of Visions in an event in a long, long time. Um, this is really exciting because if you scroll down here, you can see um, that this event settings allow multiple players to achieve maximum score possible. And we hope to see everyone shoot for the top of the rankings. What that means is everyone who can get within or above rank 1000 um, is going to get 10,000 lapis. So if you can get a perfect score on all the levels, you get 10,000 lapis. You get this lovely metal with Squall's picture on it. Bunch of dark matter, galvanite times two, bunch of tickets. It, it's good. So like I, I really enjoy these. Um, I enjoy doing like multiple clears with different elements and things like that. Um, so hopefully it's possible. Hopefully it's doable for a lot of players. Um, we can try and get as many people with this 10,000 lapis as possible. So that's cool. Definitely shoot for that. Here's the here's the thing about World of Visions. So if you've never done this before, um, and we'll we'll do you know a little overview of this down the road. There's like scoring criteria. So you have to make sure that you do max damage in one turn, take very little damage, no deaths. Make sure you hit the boss six times or more. It's just like Dark Visions. Have a max chain of 100 or more. It's just like Dark Visions, okay? But there's a maximum damage score for every level. Um, so there you go. Um, also, um, it looks like... Um, doesn't say anything about... Oh, yeah. Um, Final Fantasy VIII category units do get a boost in their stats. So that's kind of cool. Um, there you go. Um, so here's the, the types of bosses you're going to be facing. We're going to be facing Ifrit. Um, typically, Ifrit is like a fairy or a demon. Sometimes it's a beast. It's kind of it's kind of unsure. Elvaret's usually a demon. Cypher's a human. Iron Giant's usually a uh, either a machine or a human. Fujin and Raijin are humans. Adia's a human. Ultima Weapon tends to be like a dragon. Sometimes a demon. Sometimes a beast. So who knows? Um, this information is not currently available on the wiki, so I can't really dive in and tell you exactly what you need. But the way these events usually go. You have to have multiple killers and multiple items and multiple elements to deal with all the different levels. Sometimes you have to have like magic units and physical units just like Dark Visions. So, excuse me, even though I didn't stream, I'm tired. Um, yeah, basically you have, have, you have to have lots and lots of killers. So we're not going to dive into all the killers you're going to need for this specifically. Um, but let's talk a little bit about the gear. Um, you can get Samantha Soul 4, which gives you magic spirit 40% and boost Evo damage by 50% and LB damage by 25 it's kind of a nice combination of stuff, but there are better items out there, but it is free, right? 10 gallon hat is an upgrade. We already have this um, and you can get another, I assume you can get another copy from the uh, King Mog. So there you go. Um, this gets better stats and this is actually pretty good. 10% um, chance of evading physical attacks, 50% um, attack with wearing a gun and then equipment true double hand, 50%. Uh, pretty nice on a fairly decent attack stat hat. There are better things out there, but again, this is free. Same is also true about the Garden Girls uniform. You know, um, it gives magic true double hand, uh, which is pretty cool. A bunch of HP too. Um, Cypher's coat's getting upgraded, so um, glad people can get this. Um, Selfie's dress, Griever, all, all this stuff is getting upgrades. This is actually pretty nice, it's getting a 50% upgrade with killers on it. Um, and it auto casts like ailments, but you have to have remedies and stuff in your part, in your items. It's just, it's still pretty cool. Um, selfies dress gives a bunch of resistances, so that's nice. Um, and there you go. So we're gonna get all these upgrades. Definitely um, exchange them by talking to King Mog, just like it says, and uh, get as many things as you can. So this will be fun. I'll keep an eye out on Thursday um, for the initial stages, which are probably really easy. And then um, we'll get the uh, we'll get the updates on six three um, for the final levels where we can do do some good clears and stuff like that. That'll be cool. Um, the next event is the many legged pursuer. Um, this is against a machine. You can kind of see it here. It's like the, uh, the Dalit spider guy. Um, it's, um, it's pretty cool. Uh, it's a machine enemy though. And this is to get the upgradable clothes for all versions of squall. 66 attack, 64 or 47 defense, 29 spirit, and then has bonus of 500, um, attack for all versions of squall 
and machine killer 50 percent so that's pretty cool my issue with that is that um squall or a lot of the final fantasy 8 units tend to have a lot of machine killer built into their kit anyway so squall doesn't really need this a ton um but you know 50 percent on a free chess piece for um for for machine killer is pretty cool so i'm excited about that this information is also not available on the wiki currently um that usually when there's like changes to the events that the uh, we don't really get the full updates until the events go live so the wiki doesn't have a lot but we know it's a machine we can see it right there um this one is not locked to final fantasy 8 but this one is um this is mightier than the sword this is against a dragon and this is locked to final fantasy 8 you can see it right here um, exclusive to final fantasy 8 category units and you can use this to obtain crowns for laguna um, so we'll take a look at what his crowns actually are, um, and that's pretty cool. We'll scroll over here, Ability Awakening, here we go. So Laguna gets um, his Magnus ability is upgraded to, um, let's see here, it's upgraded to Reduce Attack 85, Defense 89, Magic 85, Spirit 89, so the, the, mag the Defense and Spirit you know, goes up dramatically. Um, and then big imperils for fire, light, and dark, and water goes to 160 for one enemy. So that's pretty nice. He's getting, you know, a nice big update to his his Magnus there. Also getting um, a leader skill, full metal shot, um, and then just upgrades for his Desperado and True Desperado. So that's pretty neat. Lots of big changes coming for for Laguna um, that I think make him a pretty nice unit. I'm glad I'm glad that I have him at EX2. We might even see some use, even though water is not the best element. Now we have a nice, um, you know, people have a nice water breaker. Um, outside of those three events, though, um, we are also getting this, the Chamber of Blue Magic. So this is for like if you if for, if you have the old quests, you know, from like Star Quartz Exchange, but never learned her magic you can get them here um, and then same thing here you know she can get quit all of Quistus's can get their blue magic nice right so um, there you go uh, it's just like a new thing that they're adding so they can get our blue magic um, we're getting yeah so we're getting, so squall is coming some people are really excited about squall and Quistus you know um, I kind of set the fence. I think there. I think the Squall is a potentially great unit for like if you have like the near units. Um, but I also feel like sooner or later we're gonna get a nice. We're gonna get a nice global leader that does Clash of Wills at a higher than three hundred percent, and I feel like that's gonna be the one that I'm ultimately gonna want because of how I tend to play and pull. Um, so you know, not that I don't like Squall. He looks great. Um, I um, yeah. I'm excited about Selfie though, um, because we're getting upgrades to her stuff. And let's see if I can find it. Um, I think it's here. I think it's like just in her. Oop, there we go. Here we go. Updated love for Trabia. So we're gonna get a boost of magic 80%, and then you can equip two weapon one-handed weapons, and then it gives you 100% magic true double uh, true dual wield. Um, and then gives you an additional 30% when you're equipped with fists. So that's it's huge. Um, that's a really nice update. Um, really excited about this for a lot of units. And then Crescent Wish is a fist. Gets upgraded to 183 magic. Celestial Sparks boosts and magic for selfie by 1,000, but you can't stack it. So um, this is a nice weapon for selfie. She's getting a leader skill too. She's getting EX abilities. Um, and then she's getting, getting some new things as well. Um, so I'm excited about selfie. I love a good NBA. Um, she's getting an SLB. Um, it reduces weapon resistance to fists, light magic damage, boosts the damage against machines. Um, so that's pretty cool. And then um, obviously we're getting um, Quistus and Squall as well, like I said. Um, so yeah, lots of light damage coming our way this week um, with the new light leader who is Squall. Um, and there you go. Pretty cool. The other thing that's interesting is if you never if you never pulled for lion um i never pulled for lion um lion is available in the the uh, exchange shop if you pull for squall so that's kind of cool neat um that's pretty much it so i know i threw a lot of a, a lot of races out there for like killers and stuff that you need uh we'll talk briefly about the two we know we definitely need um which is um dragons and machines 
Um, so machines, you know, you're talking about Doolahan advanced for machine eater sense. Um, and then also uh, the death machine for uh, machine killer plus and the rescue for machine killer plus. Um, at this point in the game, those are really pretty straightforward and really easy. So, um, you know, Abigail, I did, I did a clear of death machine recently with Abigail and, and Abigail as a magic tank, um, tanked the fight without really complaining too much. It was really nice. Um, so not, not too bad if you have Abigail, um, raging tempest mechanic for the Royal family valued memories from the original urban is really good. Just like, um, uh, vortex of the past and hatred from a two neovisions is really good. Last guardian. We've got lots of stuff for Machine Killer. And then um, for Magic Dragon, we've got like Dragon Killer Plus, Dragon Killer Plus, Dragon Eater Sense, lots of weapons and stuff like that. So we, we, we've talked about Dragon a lot recently um, as, as well uh, for whatever we... Oh, because last week we had Tiamat, that's right. So um, yeah, um, you know, Dark Lord and then all, all the various Dragon Killer Pluses and, and things like that. Those are all on the list. Glacial Battle Guard, Last Guardian again for Noel is Dragons and Machines, so it's a good one. Um, if you're trying to like, you know, make, make some stuff from uh, old five star units, Noel is really good here, as is Urban. Um, and then Human, you know, Human we know is going to be in there from the um, the preview, so like, you know, Man Eater Sense, Man Eater Sense from um, Emir and Dark Dragon, um, Mask of Ashura is always a good one, um, Guy's Belt, Star Quartz get it my dudes um yeah lots of human lots of lots of machines lots of dragons um we don't really know what else though um so i don't want to go too deep into all the things that are in um world divisions you will know, we'll do we'll do something a little more world divisions intensive as we get a little more information from the um from the game um so that will be good um, and that's really pretty much it for right this moment. You know, like I said, I, I didn't get to stream tonight, so I didn't work out a clear of anything. Um, just a little busy and I uh, wanted to make sure I, I still did the killers and talk a little bit about what I do know based on what I can see on the screen. Even if I can't get in the wiki and tell you all the weaknesses and everything. Um, so we'll, we'll, we'll do a little bit more of that live on Twitch on Thursday. Um, that way we can talk a little bit about it and hopefully get more information and, um, have a little fun with it, but we'll definitely do the, the new stuff live on Thursday. Um, that way we can, um, you know, do what we normally do around here. Until then, I want you guys to be good to each other. Take care, and we will see you in the next video.